Previously, we worked on the sidebar and we created also a header. And up here, we've got a notification bell, but it doesn't do anything. What we would like to do now is to turn this into a drop down with a list of notification. And which is cool is that with ChatCN, we have a drop down option. So if I go here, we can see that I got a drop down menu and I can use all of this that we got in here. So what I'm going to do is just to copy paste this. I'm going to get back. And what I'm going to do is to come back here, stop my server and type npx chatcn UI latest at drop down menu. Then after that, we are supposed to arrive with a file, which will be a drop down item. So I'm going to run again here and I'm going to get back and I'm going to go to my header to decompose a little bit. So right now we got this button with this bell icon. And if I come back here to the option, we can see that we got all this piece of code. Okay, so I'm going to import everything here on the top at first. Then what I'm going to do is to import here the drop down menu. So I'm going to copy paste coming back. And instead of this button, I'm going to have my drop down menu. Once I'm back to the app, I got this open here menu. which doesn't do anything except showing that. So what I'm going to do is to come back here and I'm going to use instead here this bell icon instead of open. I'm going to put my icon here and I'm going to just remove this or I could use the button also. Okay, here I'm using just the bell icon that we got here. So I'm coming back. I'm going to get back on what I did. And instead, I'm going to use this button that we got here. And I'm going to remove the bell icon. And when I come back, we can see here that I got the button with the rounded and the square around. So here we got the menu that is down here. But this is not necessarily what I would like to have. Here we can see that we got a separator menu. But before we work on the design, I want to work on where we display this item because when I click here, we can see that we've got the panel position here that is supposed to change. So when we look at it, it's that we have our drop down that is taking actually um, the whole space and we would like to align this drop down on the right and to have it also on the right side. So I'm going to come back here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this drop down menu content and I'm going to type align and we can see that we got access to a props called align. I'm going to type end and suddenly when I come back to it here, we can see that it's perfectly aligned. So I got all my elements that are down here. However, here the notification that we got, it's not really nice. We would like to work on something different. So what I want to do is to delete all of this. And up here, I'm going to create some kind of uh, notification. Okay, so I'm going to have notification and set notifications for now. Later, we probably are going to put that into a hook. So I'm going to use my state, which is here. And for now, we don't get any uh, model. So I'm going to put that. And of course, for user state, I'm going to use user state and I'm on a uh, here menu. So here, what I want to do is to have a model for my notifications. So what I can do at first is to put, for instance, a text. So this is a notification. OK, I can add a date. Let's say that here it's going to be uh, 201. Yeah, let's put that. And then at the end, we can have read on true or false. OK, so I'm going to grab this. And then after that, I'm going to put read on false for this one. And this is another notification for the same day. Okay, I'm going to loop through all those notifications. So I'm going to just come here and type here notifications.map. Now what I can do once I get my notifications is to have this drop down menu item. So when I come back, we can see that I got my system of notification, which are here. So basically what I can do um, is here to create something nicer. Let's say that we're going to have here a paragraph with the item text. And then just after we're going to have the date. And at the end, we're going to have a span with actually if it's read or true. So we can see here that put, we can put read 
or unread for now, and we can put an element just after. So basically, when I look at it, I get this. However, this is not necessarily what I want. So I can add here some design to it. I would like to have, uh, for instance, a bit of padding. Okay. And I would like also to have a cursor pointer when I pass on it. And on hover, I would like to have a BG, for instance, um, a neutral, let's say 50, and a transition. Okay, so I'm going to save that. Okay, and once it's done, I got my notifications. I can loop through and I added some style to it. So basically, I got this little uh, green pop when the notification is not read. So basically here I should invert this because here we can see that if it's not read, we would like to have it on green. Otherwise we would like to have it on neutral. And then I'm showing the date and then the text. So you see that inside my drop down menu item that I get on the top, I'm actually displaying my elements there. And if I come back to the app, this is the result. We've got this notification system, and at some point we would like to uh, trigger here the read on the notification to say, hey, this notification has been read. So here we've got our drop down with notification. It's really nice. Another element that I would like to uh, put here, it's some kind of pop also on the heat. Um, I'm going to do it right away. So I'm going to get back. And remember, we've got our button in here. And I can basically do exactly the same. So if I come back here, I'm going to go here. And what I can do is to say here, if notifications, and let's say that if in notifications, notifications, we've got actually an element that is unread. So I need here to find any element that is unread. We are going to display BG green. So X dot read is equal to true. We're going to find this. And then when we come back, we can see that we've got this little pop. So I'm going to zoom a little bit. There we go. So what I want to do is to put here inside my button, I'm going to add a class name and it's going to be relative. I'm going, I want to put it on absolute. So here it's going to be on top zero. And I would like to have it on the, on the right, not on the left. And I'm going to add a right zero. And when I come back, we can see that we've got the element here. It's not necessarily really nice. What I would like to have is to have it on the top. So I can put a minus here uh, on the top and then minus right. And here we see that it's not enough. Again, I can put minus two. There we go. We can see that we've got our little pop up in here. So we've got our drop down menu that is installed inside our app. So we will be able to use it later. And we also have here on the header, this notification bell, which notification we could display.